Bentover. Yes, welcome back to episode three here of the 12 dates for a new year. So now we're following our second contestant, Bentover, as he takes his guys, his group of four, to the bar and they're just gonna kind of play some karaoke he's gonna kind of use this to whittle down kind of his contestants a little bit and the four that he's got to choose from he's still got a lot of um concerns and curiosity about this range guy um he's just got a lot of really weird vibes he's got a weird something off about him we're not sure what it is yet but we're trying to figure that out um, so now Ben is just going to kind of, you know, feel things out, kind of see where it's at. So right now he is going to do a karaoke performance with each of his dates. Let's watch. So now he's going to pick up Bob Evans. Which, if you remember from the first episode, he actually set our kitchen on fire and did a lot of really bizarre things that we just weren't real thrilled with. Not cool. Not cool, Bob. Okay. So now we are going on. I mean, country's Bob Jr., of course. He's from the Midwest. They're really getting down and boogie in. Super into it. So they did it. He was like pretty into it. He's like, yeah, yeah, you did a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to get out Batista. Batista's going to come up here, and he's going to do his bit with us, and we'll see how that goes. Ooh, I don't... I don't think Batista's very good. Maybe he is. Oh, gosh. Bob! Uh, you're right there, Bob. Scoot over, Bob. Okay, there we go. Uh, gosh, Bob is just like right there. Woo. Crazy. Okay, so we are right? watching. They're really into it. He, he's really getting into it. Ben is just super enthralled with this karaoke. It's hilarious. They're just like so cute together. It's so adorable watching them see karaoke. You know, they're not good. But who is, right? Oh wow. So we now have done our... Oh! There's our fourth other date. Oh yes! Because we had to swap out our fourth guy. They just did not did not hit off at all. Like, it was a really sad moment. So Ben actually found this other guy at the bar that turned out to be the surprise mystery contestant as his new fourth day. Yes. And he's just like, oh my gosh, Travis, you are amazing. You're so cute. You're so young. You're so amazing. Oh, I want to know everything about you. So let's watch him do it. Umbraza? Huh? Mm. Oh, yeah. He's just like immediately, <laughs> yes. like, just <laughs> zero to 90 miles an hour. <sighs> like, crazy into him already. Aw, and he's already getting him a drink and everything. Aw, that's so sweet. Yep, it's like super raging, like, um,. Physical interest more than it is like anything else at this point, obviously, but he's very into him, clearly. And that is super funny. Like how much he's already like tripping over this dude and just like freaking out. He's like, okay, now, now let's do it. Let's see how we jive. Aww, and they're like really hitting it off. So cute. Aww. Really nice. Oh, they're sweet. So he's actually like, doesn't even look like he's like into karaoke at all, even. That's sad. So he's like, it looks like he didn't even want to take Ben up on the offer. He's like, nope, not doing it. 
So, oh, so he's like, yes, let's go to the festival instead. Let's blow this place and just go to the festival. So he swapped out his arriving date for now Travis. So now we have Travis. And so now the guys went to the hot spring and they're at the sauna and just like, you know, chilling out, having some really nice, like, chill bro time, you know, like chilling out, like getting to know everybody, like sup, you know, kind of gauging the competition, trying to see what's up, figure out who's who, what's what, and really helps Ben be able to just kind of, you know, have a really good view of everybody and just kind of stack everybody up against each other. And he's trying to have some small talk with a couple of the guys that he's not really like that into, but he's just trying to get to know more about. Um, so he's just trying to, you know, like, understand more about Bob, what makes him tick. And then he's really trying to understand and figure out this bookworm guy and, like, what makes him tick, you know? So, um, we're kind of, like, 50-50 on him. Like, are we kind of into him, kind of not into him? So he's like, have you dated before? Like, how many boyfriends have you had? And he's like, no, I live alone and I've never been hugged. Oh, and so now the guys are, like, leaving already. They're like, um, we're good. <laughs> we're good here. So then Ben's like, because he's talking about things that he's really only into, and everyone else is like, mm, psh, bye. We don't care. What are you getting on about? Oh, wow. And those guys are, like, kind of together separately, if you can see. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. Little aliasing there. Um... So, yeah, Bob's still, like, super into Ben, and he's, like, super just, like, all about Ben. So, Bob and Ben are going to have, like, a little time together and just kind of see kind of one-on-one, -on -one, kind of, you know, without everybody around, kind of see what really makes them drive together and if they have quite a bit in common or just some things in common. Because, again, we're trying to find the most perfect person forever you know and to start the new year with and you want to make sure that it's the most ideal person because when you're signing that contract you can't obviously take it back so you really want to make sure that it is the one and that you've used your time wisely so that you don't make the wrong choice so he is ben is still going through and going through these guys, you know, I'm just kind of picking their brain a little bit. Um, he, like, isn't as much into Bob as Bob is to him, I think it seems. From, like, the vibes we're getting. It seems like their relationship's already kind of, like, cooling. Oh, no! Bob! Bob. Oh, no! It looks like something... Something happened to Bob. It looks like he got electrocuted or something crazy happened as he was trying to go inside. Oh no, Bob. That was that was intense. Oh no, so Bob is not with us now, as you can see. It looks like Grim Reaper is trying to join us uh, for a little time. So that's when we're like, uh, checking out. Bye. That's a lot, way too much to handle. So now we're going to ditch and go somewhere else because now it's like a lot of bad vibes. You know, it's like Bob isn't, you know, but unfortunately this is a competition. It is a reality show. So you've got to really kind of be on your A game and you're competing. So uh, we're trying to find the first and most important, the number one. And so there are going to be three other guys that either or, you know, kind of nine total dates that just don't make it. And some really don't make it. <laughs> lots of drama, lots of crazy. And it's like, like I said before, you can't really like bottle up the jealousy or the frustration or the anger or or um, any mean things that, that the Sims may want to do to each other like you could in real life as if it was a real reality show because they can't contain themselves, you know, so they can't fight their lip and watch another guy kiss another guy or uh, another guy kiss another girl or two girls kiss or, you know, whatever makes them jealous. They just can't handle it at all in the game. Okay, so now we decided, yep, the bar's cool. Like, we've already been to the bar, been to one bar, been to all bars. Let's try something else.
crazy. Let's go to a party. So now he's like, party. So we're at a party at the ancient ruins now. And uh, I mean, it's like blizzard conditions. And we're like, what? Is there anything going on? And then all of a sudden you look back behind and you're like, whoa, there's like a little techno rave kind of situation going on back here. Uh, let's kind of see what's up, you know, and check it out. So there's a little bar. Okay, so we got a bar. We've got like a couple little extra things. We've got this like DJ area to hang out with or and around. And then we have like a cool bonfire that we'll probably go light in a minute. Um, and just a lot of like fun little things that we could definitely hang out and chill without a lot of crazy and like a little bit more of like an intimate surrounding to where we can really get to know each other and kind of, you know, see who's, who hits it off. And they're all really vibing here. This is so cool. It's like, yeah. And Ben is like totally on his egg game right now. Cool. Yes. Sweet. It's like this place is like chill. It's really hopping. Oh wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. So our date. He's like over here, just kind of like in the corner, like chilling, like trying to dance, trying to be into it. Um, there's people that are really showing up here though, like with these push-ups and stuff. I'm like, whoa! Okay, so now he's gonna go and order drinks for everybody. And he really, really likes to spend the cash. He will drop simoleons upon simoleons with the coin for the bag. You know, like he is all about bougie, expensive drinks fancy stuff so yeah he gets them like the expensive like $300 drinks or 300 million drinks which is like $900 in real life um in US dollars because I think it quantifies in thirds so it's like 300 for 100 simoleons so now we're looking here and Ben and this bookworm genius dude just are not getting it they're not hitting it off um, Patrick, Patrick, no, <laughs> he's not into him, and they're not jiving now, this is obviously not his cup of tea, and Ben likes clubs, you know, like, not all the time, but, like, he wants to be able to go once in a while, and, like, now he can't, because, like, if he goes with this dude, like, he's stuck at home all the time, like, ball and chain kind of situation, and it's almost like he's just got something else going on. You know, and so Ben's back here now and he's like really wanting to, you know, let Batista know that, hey, yeah, you're still my number one. You know, you're you're my bottom. You know what? You're not, you're my bottom bay. You are the king wing ding in my life. Yes. He is like totally in to Batista. So I'm like, yes, go for it. Go for it. And so he's just like putting it on, putting on the shoes. Like it's embarrassing a little at times because he's just kind of like doesn't even know how to act because he's just so head over heels. It's like, oh, here, I just, I love you. Nah. He's like, mm. about that. So maybe he can like give him something. Uh oh, see, now he's like not liking Ben. Batista's like, all of a sudden he's much. like flipped the switch and he's just slim. like, it's not into us. What? Uh, what is food. this? <laughs> Why? Umbraza? Like we were hitting it off so well. <laughs> yes. Come it's on, baby, like please. Batista, no. Huh. And Batista's like, no, I'm not into you, you bro. Not now, vaccine. but. Kinda. Just don't tell him. So they're like really waffling right now, back and forth, back and forth. Like, are you into him? Are you not into him? And Batista's like thinking about this other raging lady, and like, I think he needs the booze. Like, he's thirsty. So he's just automatically going over there and trying to get some like good times. Okay, cool. So now they're over here getting drinks. Yay. Tonight. 
Lots of drinks. Cool. And he's gonna like really schmooze Batista a little bit more because he's just trying to lay it on thick right now, like and and really schmooze him over because he's almost confident that that's gonna be his guy, but he's just not 100% yet. And this is just raging. This place is phenomenal. It's kick butt. Totally rad. Say, hey, sup? Sup? Love it. See, now he, like, now he liked it. See, like, Batista is so odd. Because, like, he's definitely, like, in the bin. But then he, like, flips the switch every now and then. Which is another thing to kind of like check out and make sure, you know, and look at and be like, um, is this okay? Like, are you okay? Because like, I, I'm gonna, you might be my forever one and we might be together forever. And I really gotta know now, like what kind of dude are you? And so he's like, well, I'm not trash, but I come from trash. And he's like, I do like you though. You're really awesome. You're totally bad. Oh, and thank you for the present. Oh, yeah, so he gave him a fish, a mounted fish. And he thought that was a really romantic kind gesture to receive a mounted fish. And it was actually a regal, but don't tell Batista. Oh, my goodness! Oh, no! Oh, no, we knew there was something crazy about Patrick, the bookworm. Uh, he is loony and a killer. Oh, my gosh. He is like a crazy loony. Oh, yeah. Why? Why? What did you do? You just like totally like messed up this moment. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, and now Jake and Ben are like really, oh, or I mean Travis. Yes, Travis. I don't know where I got Jake, but yeah, Travis and Ben. They're all they're like really snuggly and cute looking right now. Oh, but he's just like not. He's like trying. Oh, yeah, he's really trying with him and out. stuff, but it's like not really like going very far. Like he might be able to be friends, out. maybe, but he's not sure. Oh my gosh! For? Now again, what is it with this dude, Patrick? You are intense. So what next? We'll find out.